And we are back for another edition of On the Radar. I am your host and your representative, Rick Crawford. Glad you could join us on the radar this week. Congress is in session until Friday of this week. The House Committee on Ways and Means and the Energy and Commerce Committee together will begin marking up the American Health Care Act. Let's talk about it. Last night, the text of the bill was published online, so you have access to it. You can read it. I've begun reading through the bill, and I believe that it's important for you to read it as well so you get a better perspective. The bill is being marked up by the House Committees on Ways and Means and Energy and Commerce, joint jurisdictions between those two committees. I'll keep you informed every step of the way. We're watching this very, very closely. I encourage you to visit readthebill.gop where you can uh, find the bill online. Let's talk about intelligence. It's been in the news, well, ever since uh, Donald Trump got elected. Here's a statement from uh, Chairman David Nunes. One of the focus points of the House Intelligence Committee's investigations is the U.S. government's response to actions taken by Russian intelligence agents during the presidential campaign. As such, the committee will make inquiries into whether the government was conducting surveillance activities on any political party's campaign officials or surrogates, and we will continue to investigate this issue if the evidence warrants it. We'll be talking about that as details unfold. On the regulatory radar this week, Legal Reform Week, the House will be reviewing four bills that will benefit and protect the victims or class members in legal uh, cases. Currently, uh, lawyers reap most of the benefits, while the victims or class members reap close to nothing. Four bills that will change this. They are H.R. 985, H.R. 906, H.R. 720, and H.R. 725. Let's talk about them real quick. H.R. 985, the Fairness and Class Action Litigation Act, will fix the broken class action litigation system by maximizing recoveries for, for deserving victims. H.R. 906, the Furthering Asbestos Claim Transparency, or FACT Act, will reform asbestos trust by increasing transparency within the asbestos bankruptcy system, discourage waste and fraud by only allowing legitimate victims, will protect privacy rights and preserve states' rights, and will not alter any state laws. H.R. 720, the Lawsuit Abuse Reduction Act, or LARA, will make compensation mandatory to victims of frivolous lawsuits filed in federal court and penalize lawyers for filing baseless lawsuits. That's progress. And finally, H.R. 725, the Innocent Party Protection Act, prevents innocent individuals from being pulled into lawsuits by trial lawyers, giving the lawyers the advantage of keeping their lawsuits in state courts. This bill will allow federal judges to release innocent local parties from a lawsuit uh, when there's no plausible legal case. That's a look at what's on the radar this week. Keep your eyes on the radar. We'll do the same. We'll see you next time.